Are you troubled by strange noises in the middle of the night? Do you experience feelings of dread in your basement or attic? Have you or any of your family ever seen a spook, specter, or ghost? If the answer is yes, then don't wait another minute. Pick up your phone and call the professionals. Go Ghostbusters! Ghostbusters. Our courteous and efficient staff is on call 24 hours a day to serve all your supernatural elimination needs. We're ready to believe you! Ghostbusters, what do you want? You call that an accomplishment? Nobody ever listens to me. Prepare yourselves for the inevitable. I loathe you from the darkest spume of my craven boiling bowels. Just another thousand years we go hang in there. Hang in. Hello, Ghostbusters. Hmm, mm hmm. No, we do not advise that you attempt to perform a Peruvian type 5 exorcism on yourself. Mm hmm. But listen, listen. Once you've tied yourself to the chair, it's very difficult to do that to the cat, even if you could catch it. Ghostbusters. Oh, hi. Are you serious? They did? Brent and Donna? They did? Oh, with Dylan right there? What did Steve say? Oh, you're kidding. Ah, uh, I know. I know. A little tramp. Right. Right. I don't think so. Hmm, mm hmm. All right. Goodbye. Oh, I have an itch right here.
Ghostbusters. No. Not at the present time. Goodbye. No heart ever beat as black as my own. Come closer, and I'll let you hear it. So you know so much about Gozer because... Because I'm a specialist in ancient Mesopotamian cultures and architecture. Sumerian primarily. Gozerian more specifically. I'm here as a guest curator for the Gozerian exhibit that's opening tomorrow at the Natural History Museum. You are aware that we also have some history with Gozer. Yes, of course. Gozer was a bush leaguer before he met us. A strictly farm team deity. We put him on the map. But our getting stiffed on invites to opening night just an oversight, right? I don't have anything to do with that. That, gentlemen, was all me. And I can assure you, it was not an oversight. Oh, by the way, you have visitors. Thanks, Janine. Your first class lookout. Walter Peck. I did not recognize you without the mayor's backside attached to your nose. Okay, everybody put them back in their skivvies. <laughs> Apologies. Uh, Dr. Selwyn, are you all right? I think so, but I'm worried about the exhibit. Are you kidding? You can't buy publicity like this! The guest curator of the Gozer exhibit, the expert Peck recommended, is attacked the night before the opening by Gozer himself! Please, tell me that was Gozer. Gozer manifested in a familiar form, one he had used before, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, but this event was weaker than his first encounter with us. Ha! That's all I need! Thanks! Come on, Jock. What's the idea of bringing Prack around here? Oh, have I coughed at the wrong time? <laughs> Listen, here's the deal. You and Peck and all you guys are going to work together. What? No way, no how. Impossible. Look. This city has given you at least a dozen contracts for the jails, courthouses, and wharves. You guys want to grow your business. Get some county and state work, too. I'm all for it. You've been big supporters, and great for my campaign. 
Well, some have said our endorsement is what got you elected. But not out loud. Anyway, after all the damage you've been causing lately, the city council wants you under close supervision for a period of no less than six months. We file reports on time. There's no need for extra supervision. <laughs> Funny guy, Bankman. You've always been my favorite. Well, that's where your old friend Peck comes in. He's annoying, a stickler for the rules. In other words, the perfect Peck for the job. He's our new head of Peacock. Peacock? PCOC, Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. And my first official act is going to be suspending you clowns' operating license. Lighten up, Peck. Launch your investigation if you have to, but for now just keep them under control and my office in the loop. But remember, if the Ghostbusters cease to exist, so does your job. So you need each other. Beautiful in an ironic, symmetrical kind of way, isn't it? Hey, Mulligan, come on. It's Mayor Mulligan to you, Venkman. So, we have an understanding? This kind of protects us all. You want more government business, I want to keep my approval rating, and Peck wants his little fiefdom. You play by the rules. Easy. We all get what we want, and the city council gets what they need. Okay, big night tomorrow, Alyssa. Get some rest. So, now that we're all friends, can we get invites to the museum opening? Not likely. But I'll be seeing you soon. You can count on that.